SpaceX has just done the unthinkable. Flight 10 of Starship may go down in history as the most radical test flight yet. Why? Because Elon Musk is preparing to send the world's most powerful rocket back from orbit without a heat shield. Experts are stunned. NASA is cautious. And the aerospace industry is watching with disbelief. Could Musk really be rewriting the rules of reentry? Or is this a gamble that could end in disaster? Setting the stage. To understand the shockwave rippling through the aerospace world, we first need to grasp why heat shields are so critical. When a spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it slams into air molecules at hypersonic speeds, generating temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun's traditional capsules, like Apollo and SpaceX's Crew Dragon rely on ablative heat shields that burn away, protecting the astronauts inside. But Starship is different. It's not a small capsule. It's a 120-meter-tall, fully reusable rocket designed to carry 100 people to Mars. And yet, Musk just hinted that its 10th test flight may skip the very thing everyone thought was non-negotiable. Musk's bold claim. In a recent update, Elon Musk suggested that Starship's revolutionary stainless steel body, combined with cutting-edge maneuvering techniques, could handle re-entry in a way no rocket ever has before. Instead of depending on bulky, fragile tiles, Starship may use its very shape, its metallic skin, its wings, and its belly flop maneuver to dissipate heat. Think of it like this. Rather than resisting the atmosphere, Starship would dance with it, spreading heat across a massive surface area and slowing down without burning up. It's a radical idea, so radical that engineers who spend decades on spaceflight can hardly believe it. The shock in the industry... Within hours of Musk's comments, aerospace forums lit up. Some called it visionary. Others called it reckless. NASA insiders worry that skipping the heat shield is a recipe for fiery disaster. But SpaceX engineers counter that this isn't blind risk. It's calculated physics. Starship steel skin can withstand far higher temperatures than aluminum spacecraft of the past. And by using active cooling, circulating cryogenic fuel through tiny channels, Starship might actually shed heat instead of absorbing it. In other words, it wouldn't need a heat shield in the traditional sense, because the ship itself becomes one. A glimpse of Flight 10. Flight 10 could be the ultimate demonstration. Picture this. Starship roars into orbit, its engines thundering over the Gulf of Mexico. Hours later, the world watches live as it begins re-entry, without the black and white armor of heat tiles we've come to expect. Instead, a gleaming silver spacecraft streaks across the sky, relying on nothing but engineering brilliance and raw physics to survive. If it succeeds, the implications are staggering. Spacecraft design, Mars colonization, lunar missions, all could be redefined. If it fails, however, it will be a fiery lesson written in the skies above Earth. The descent begins. The world held its breath as Starship Flight 10 began its descent. SpaceX's live stream showed the spacecraft flipping into its famous belly flop maneuver, a technique that looks more like skydiving than spaceflight. But this time, the stakes were far higher. Without its traditional heat shield tiles, every second of re-entry meant the difference between survival and fiery disintegration. At 17,500 miles per hour, friction built up quickly. Plasma flames licked across the silvery skin, glowing brighter with every passing moment. The engineering gamble. Inside SpaceX's mission control, you could see the tension on the engineers' faces. Elon Musk himself sat quietly, watching the numbers climb on the giant screens. Telemetry showed skin temperatures rising to unprecedented levels. But instead of failing, Starship's stainless steel body seemed to hold strong. Engineers had routed supercooled methane fuel through hidden channels, creating a protective barrier vapor around the hottest sections. This wasn't just a spacecraft falling back to Earth. It was a controlled experiment, testing whether an entirely new physics of reentry could be achieved. The world watches. Millions tuned across the globe. NASA officials, aerospace rivals in China and Russia, and even the European Space Agency had their eyes glued to screens. Could SpaceX really defy decades of accepted aerospace engineering? On social media, hashtags like hashtag no heat shield and hashtag Starship Flight 10 exploded. Some viewers were confident, calling it the dawn of a new era. Others mocked the attempt, saying it was destined to end in flames. 
As Starship dropped lower, cameras caught a breathtaking view, an ocean of fire surrounding the craft, its skin glowing white hot, yet somehow still intact. The critical moment. At 40 kilometers above Earth, Starship entered the most dangerous phase of reentry, the point where spacecraft normally reach maximum heating. Traditionally, this is where heat shields do their life-saving work. But for Starship, there was no fallback, no shield, no safety net. Inside Mission Control, an eerie silence fell. Every engineer leaned forward. The world waited. And then, breaking through the inferno. Suddenly, the live stream cameras flicker with static as plasma engulfed Starship. For nearly 60 seconds, telemetry went dark, a blackout zone that has doomed many missions before. The entire world stared at blank screens. Had Starship burned up, or was it still fighting through the storm? And then... Like a phoenix emerging from fire, images returned. Starship was still there, its silvery hull battered, glowing red hot, but intact. Sparks and vapor trails spiral behind it, showing just how extreme the forces were. In mission control, the silence broke into gasps, then cheers. Against all odds, the experiment was working. Expert reactions live. A panel of aerospace experts, live on television, were caught off guard. One NASA veteran whispered, this changes everything. A European analyst called it the most radical leap in spacecraft design since Apollo. And in Beijing, Chinese state media scrambled to interpret what they were seeing, calling it a dangerous gamble that just might rewrite the rule book. But Elon Musk remained calm, almost stoic. He tweeted just three words, still holding strong. The final descent phase. Now just 20 kilometers above Earth, Starship prepared for its final maneuver, reigniting its engines for a soft landing. This would be the make-or-break moment. Not only did the spacecraft have to survive the inferno of reentry, it now had to prove it could land without catastrophic failure. In the skies over the Gulf of Mexico, thousands of spectators craned their necks, pointing phones at a fiery streak blazing overhead. The question was no longer if Starship could survive reentry without a heat shield. It was whether it could land and prove that this wasn't just survival. It was history in the making. Engines of destiny. Suddenly, silence gave way to thunder. With the Earth rushing closer, Starship's massive raptors ignited. Blazing jets of blue fire tore through the plasma. The craft jolted. Stabilizers adjusting as it flipped from a horizontal belly flop into a vertical descent. The maneuver was so violent that some onboard sensors flatlined for several seconds. Spectators on the ground gasped as the massive rocket, still glowing red from reentry, tilted upright like a skyscraper falling from the sky but catching itself in midair. Was this the moment SpaceX would prove that landing without a heat shield was more than just theory? The Global Watch In Tokyo, entire classrooms were watching live. Students cheering as a fiery silhouette of Starship filled the screen. In Cape Canaveral, veteran astronauts leaned forward, murmuring, If this works, Mars got closer. And in Africa, engineers who had once been skeptics were now celebrating. Because if SpaceX could achieve this, it meant that the entire aerospace industry would have to rethink the future of spacecraft. The world wasn't just watching a landing. They were witnessing the rewriting of the laws of space travel. The trembling ground. Back at the landing site, high-speed cameras captured every second. Dust clouds rose, shock waves trembled through ground, and heat shimmer distorted the air. Starship was descending at impossible speed, its engines fighting gravity with all their power. Mission Control's audio crackled, velocity dropping, 200 meters, 100 meters. Everyone held their breath. Even Elon Musk who rarely showed emotion during launches, leaned forward in his chair, eyes fixed on the screen. The fate of Flight 10 and the boldest experiment in modern aerospace hung by a thread. The hover of hope. Flames roared downward, blasting the landing pad with waves of fire. Starship's legs extended with metallic snap, unfolding like the talons of a giant bird preparing to grip the earth. But then an alarm blared. One of the three landing raptors sputtered, coughing black smoke into the air. For a heartbeat, the 400-foot rocket wobbled, threatening to tip sideways. 
Gas erupted in mission control. Engineers' hands flew across consoles. The numbers were dropping too fast. Could Starship correct itself in time? Defying gravity. Against all odds, the onboard AI adjusted instantly. The remaining engines throttled up, tilting their nozzles at impossible angles. The craft steadied, still glowing red from its skin, heat radiating into the desert night. At just 40 meters above the ground, the sheer size of Starship became overwhelming. To onlookers, it wasn't just a rocket anymore. It was a moving skyscraper, fighting physics itself to stand upright. And then came the words that echoed around the world. Landing burn nominal velocity stable. Shock waves across the sky. In Times Square, the crowd erupted, their cheers echoing to the giant digital screens. In Beijing, rival aerospace engineers stared in disbelief. Some whispered that this moment would change their entire five-year plan. In a small workshop in Nairobi, young engineers building drones celebrated. Because if rockets could land without heat shields, then anything was possible in aerospace innovation. But even as the world cheered, the descent wasn't over. Every meter close to the ground meant more danger and more history to be made. The final seconds. 20 meters. 10 meters. Dust and fire consumed the landing zone. Cameras struggling to capture the scene to the inferno. Inside mission control, heartbeats pounded louder than the alarms. Starship's legs reached, trembling, ready to lock into place. Touchdown of Titans. The ground shook as Starship's talons dug into the pad. Flames scattered dust into the night, cloaking everything in a golden haze. For a terrifying moment, the rocket tilted, leaning just a fraction too far. Gas turned to screams. Was it about to topple? But then with a thunderous metallic groan, Starship locked into place. Upright. Stable. Victorious. The impossible had happened. A spacecraft the size of a skyscraper had flown to space, re-entered Earth's atmosphere without a traditional heat shield, and landed safely in one piece. The silence after the storm. For two full seconds, the world was silent. No one in mission control moved. No one watching on live stream even breathed. And then, applause erupted. Engineers leapt from their chairs, hugging, crying, some even collapsing from the sheer intensity of the moment. This wasn't just a landing. This was a revolution. A new chapter for humanity. Elon Musk appeared on the giant screen, his voice trembling with both exhaustion and triumph. Tonight, humanity proved that we are not limited by the old rules of physics. If a ship can survive re-entry without a heat shield, then Mars is closer than ever. Across the world, leaders, scientists, and dreamers understood. This was the dawn of a new space age. Starship Flight 10 had done more than defy expectations. It had changed the trajectory of humanity forever.